Hello and a very warm welcome to all of a sudden very cold and I think a very slightly rainy India. Uh, but the final week of the World Cup is surely heating up as the teams fight for the final spot. With us again, I think, uh, as usual, we have our founder Mukul with us. Mukul, how is the Kudrat Ka Nizam at your end looks? Doesn't look very cold there. Yeah, hi everyone. Uh, it is actually cold. I don't have any fan or anything on. I just have. I just came from outside. That's why I have this kind of clothes. That's my USP. As my other founder says, yes. that this is my USP. So I have to. I, have I to wear Phil has his hair. You have your clothes. Yeah. So, so uh, yeah. I mean, I don't think uh, the Kudrat Ka Nizam is working this time. I thought almost, almost it worked this time. Also, almost yeah. that would have been almost, really yeah. crazy if it worked. This time, yeah, but yeah, unfortunately, not to be this time. Yeah, so I think uh, the game we're discussing today, interesting one, England versus Pakistan. Not a lot to play for England, of course, uh, but uh, New Zealand all of us all all of all but confirmed their fourth position, and I think even though mathematically it's still possible, do you think is it still possible for Pakistan? Uh, yeah, I don't think they can like chase runs in like six overs, like two hundred runs. So like, I mean, the only way it is possible, which I think is possible, is like they score like four hundred ish runs and then have England out at like hundred runs. Like you know, and that's I think one of the that's happened, uh, Which is the not world. yeah, which it happened not, in the World Cup yeah. in this World yeah. Cup. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. India did uh, like you know bowled out England under hundred right. and they scored like a lot. So I like yeah, it's mathematical, but it looks very unlikely. So yeah, I think I was reading a scenario knows? where uh, Pakistan if they score three hundred runs, they need to bowl out England for thirteen runs. So I think yeah, so. maybe one I was reading. There's a lot more scenarios happening, so it depends yeah. on who's the toss and everything. Yes. Right. So I think uh, that's all uh, for discussing about what may or may not happen. I think what we can discuss is the picks for this game. A lot of options to choose from uh, in this game for both sides. In fact, I think a lot of good performers. Yes. Uh, I think Ben Strokes finally scored a hundred, and I yeah. think he will be bidding goodbye to the World Cup. I think an ODI cricket also won last time. I don't think he'll come back out of retirement now. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, I think you should pick him. Uh, he scored a hundred and looks in good touch finally. So that's one one pick I would recommend. Uh, I think Fakhar Zaman is also like right. you know a decent pick. He scored a lot of runs. I know it's only one match, but uh, like you know still he scored a lot of runs. So I think Fakhar Zaman would be one good pick, and he's only ten credits, so right. which is good. Uh, other than that, I think um, I would bet on Moin Ali a little bit if he plays. Mm. Like you know, it's only five credits, I know, but uh, I think Moin Ali would be good in Kolkata. Would be a good sixth uh, pick in anyone's team, I think, if they're yeah, looking yeah, for the bigger yeah. pick. Wouldn't be a, like a really dark horse kind of uh, epic, like right. you know. So England doesn't have anything to uh, lose, you know. So right. I think they might become unhinged. But we have been thinking that for like so many matches now, and they yeah. haven't really played. So yeah, I would not pick like you know, like you know, the, we usually think like you know, it's law of averages. So like you know, Butler mm -hmm. has not been performing, so he might finally perform. Right. But I don't think Butler actually looks like he doesn't want to perform in this World Cup. Like you know, he just goes out just like that. So I would avoid picking Butler and Root and everyone. Like you know, what about the obvious? Have... What if someone like David Malan or uh, Rizwan from Pakistan? Yeah, David Malan and Johnny Bairstow is like uh, you can. Pick David Malan and like Baba Razam, you can count on like he will right. score like 40 runs, like you know. So, uh, and like he will score at a lower success, like strike rate, but like we that. don't care for fantasy, you'll, you'll get the points, right? So, yeah. so <laughs> Baba Razam is a good pick. Shine Afridi is obvious, like he's a top credit player and he can, he's a good pick. So, yeah, like uh, there are actually in this match, there are more players who you should not pick actually rather than like you know, who you should pick. <laughs> Like there are less in most matches, there are like some obvious choices. These people is like you should definitely pick. In right. this match, I would say like there are choices. These are the choices you should not pick. pick. <laughs> and then like among the rest, you decide like who you want. Like, right. So great, that's, great. Uh, that's interesting. 
that's yeah yeah so i think uh, i would uh, for anyone who's watching i would listen to mukul mukul your uh, rachin pick the obvious pick did come through i think he scored about 40 runs and surprisingly took a couple of wickets as well so don't pick him in the next match though in the semi final <laughs> I don't want him to perform. We'll keep that discussion for the next video where I think we're expecting <laughs> India New Zealand again. So we'll keep that discussion for next time. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So I think lots of riding on this game. So you could expect a big performances from some players, even Pakistan, England. As you said, nothing to lose. So you could expect some from them as well. And a lot uh, for you guys to win as well. The first prize in this uh, game for double single is one thousand dollars. So that's all we have for today's show. We hope you enjoyed our analysis and are now ready to build your Gully Cricket teams. Don't forget, decide on who you don't want to pick. Keep them aside and then go for the remaining picks. And like and share this video with the other players and subscribe to our channel. You can also watch this video again on the math screen in the app itself. Until then, keep enjoying the game, keep playing Gully Cricket and we'll see you for the next one.